a quick video on uh, KB store status. If you see that your KB store has failed to start in its Splunk instance, you can see here on the left hand side, it says failed. And even on the front end, like on your Splunk web UI, if you see uh, that failed to migrate KB store and then the process terminated, so there, is, there is a quick fix to, uh, to, to, to resolve this. So what you need to do, you need to go to this directory opt splunk etc or here you will have a file called server.pam. So let's check for that. Exactly. So what you need to do, you need to stop your instance. Once this uh, instance, once this Splunk D services stops on this instance, what we will do, we will rename this server.pm file. You can just create the backup file and then restart your Splunk. So that will fix the problem. So look, what we will do, we'll rename this server.pam file to server.pam. We will create the backup file only. If you, you can copy it to a different directory as well, right? So let's do that. So now it server.pam has become server.pam but back. So what will start as well. And hopefully it will fix your PD store status problem. Okay, so now your Splunk instance has started. Let's check the KB store status. Perfect. So you, you no longer see it's in a failed state. It's ready now. So it means it's fine. And if you want to check the detailed uh, view, like the MongoDB version and all, you can use iPhone iPhone verbose. It will show the MongoDB version as well. So it's uh, 4.0.24 and it's in ready state now. Okay, fine. Thanks.